everyone welcome to HNS Glee today we are going to talk about the second factor that affects the movement of the water across the compartments and that's the collide osmotic pressure and it's also known as the oncotic pressure so let's first understand what is this collide osmotic pressure it's nothing it's just an osmotic pressure that's induced by the proteins especially the albumins this type of the osmotic pressure is responsible for the movement of the water and this osmotic pressure results also for the low molecular mass solutes movement. As we already know this that ECF has two more divisions one is the intravascular compartment other is the extravascular compartment intravascular compartment is also known as the plasma whereas the extravascular compartment is also known as the interstitial fluid so we are already aware of this we have already taught this in the previous lectures let's now have a look here if this is the plasma and here is the interstitial fluid, in between is present a membrane known as the capillary membrane and this membrane is porous that means there are present small pores in between this membrane. Usually plasma has more concentration of the proteins in comparison to the interstitial fluid. Fine, so it doesn't allow the proteins that are present in the plasma to pass towards the interstitial fluid. This is one thing that we need to note down here. So what we can say is that this is these are the compartments of the ECF plasma and the interstitial fluid. So what happens in ECF there is continuously mixing occurs between the plasma and the interstitial fluid so that we have same composition for the plasma and the interstitial fluid but there is one exception that is the proteins because proteins cannot pass through this capillary membrane towards the interstitial fluid hence we can say that there is more concentration of the proteins in the plasma in comparison to the interstitial fluid let's now see another comparison if we will say we have NaCl and we have protein, which one will exert more osmotic pressure? We have already discussed this thing earlier. Now again I am saying here that we know osmotic pressure is a colligative property. And what are colligative property? Colligative property depends on the number of the particles, number of the solute particles. If we will see NaCl, it's a salt and it will get dissociated in Na positive and Cl negative. Hence we can say these are the two particles, right? But protein acts as individual particle it is only one in number here at the, the here are there are two uh, particles so NaCl will exert more osmotic pressure if we compare it with the protein all that we have discussed will will come up to this thing that the distribution of the water between the ECF depends on plasma proteins and some of the hydrodynamic factors like we are saying of the hydrostatic pressure what is this hydrostatic pressure it's the pressure that's exerted by the fluid at equilibrium at any point of the time due to the force of the gravity so on these two factors the whole distribution of the water especially in ECF depends let's now learn one of the important condition that's known as the edema and is it is usually found uh, as a symptom for many diseases proteins act as the water magnets what they do they just pull the water towards itself so if uh, during any pathological condition during any disease there occurs the less concentration of the protein level in the plasma if there is less protein that means less water will be available in the plasma and what will happen how this uh, concentration of the water becomes less this water will try to move from uh, from the plasma towards the other tissues or the surrounding spaces and when this water moves from the plasma towards the surrounding spaces it will cause a swelling uh, in the surroundings that's known as the edema so what we can define edema as uh, it's the accumulation of the water in the interstitial fluid so we can say that is edema. It's not the normal concentration of the water that's present in the interstitial. It's the excess uh, amount of the water that accumulates in the interstitial fluid which will cause the uh, swelling in the tissues and this is known as the edema. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.